this is um, Wesley Strick. He is the writer of um, Death of Superman. Uh, uh, Superman Lives, Superman. sorry. And, and so, you know, yep. you as a writer, it's your career in writing things that don't get made. It's just it's lot. just what it is. It um, where did this kind of um, fall for you in terms of uh, one that got away? Um, was it a major disappointment after it didn't keep going? It was a disappointment. You know, major, I wouldn't say so, not really. I think for Tim it was. Tim was pretty devastating. Um, and I, I felt for Tim. I mean, yeah. he, had, he had put a lot of time, effort, uh, thought into it, and emotion with it. What do you think, um, you know, he had come off of doing the Batman films, yeah. and um, obviously Superman is a much different character, a yeah. uh, much lighter character, um, and his his idea was, you know, really focusing it on Superman as an alien. Yeah, um, so what was kind of the metaphor that you were working with in the script, and, and what were some of the... That was it? You just hit the nail on the head. We, we always talked about Superman as coming from Krypton. He, he wasn't of this plan. Right. And I, I always thought that's how Tim saw himself at that stage of his life. I don't know if he still does. I haven't talked to him in a while. But and that's, yeah, such a huge theme in his own life. life. Yeah, not, yeah, not being uh, someone that belongs. You know, Nick, I think Nick Cage is also someone. Uh, yeah, I think he also had that same attitude. You know, he likes to collaborate a lot, Nick. Um, did he bring things to the script that um, yeah. you remember changing or adjusting? Because, you know, obviously performance informs what you write. Right, and we never got as far as performance. But um, we talked a lot. I think what Nick brought was his extreme Superman fandom. Mm -hmm. He assured us that he was one of the biggest, if not the biggest Superman fans in the world. Right. And he named his son Kal El. Right, as, exactly. As of that. Yeah, so. Doesn't get more so than I that. Believed him, yeah. um, you know, you've seen since this didn't happen. Uh, you know, the world is full of you know summer superhero movies. And when you look at even what Zack Snyder did with Superman. Does um, what you and, and, and Tim were trying to put together still feel very much apart from what you see today as a writer? Well, the irony is that we were told that our script was too dark. Right, and, and exactly. Who, and who could have predicted Christopher Nolan and a whole re, you know, a sort of reimagining of what the superhero genre is, is going to be? Well, then that's interesting then is that do you think in some ways it was ahead of its time, do you think it could live today where there's a much more accepting audience of the darker predilections for a superhero? Yeah, no, exactly. But, um, you know, by then I had worked on Batman Returns. I right. Superman. I was kind of finished with it. I'd had enough of it. Absolutely. And I moved on <laughs> until tonight. Uh, what are you most excited to see when you get to see all of the other collaborators on this come well, together? Curious. I used to, s I saw a lot of um, Rick Heinrich's conceptual art. Uh, I remember back at Warner Brothers where we used to work in the office space. But I want to see a lot of the tests, camera tests and stuff like that, which I've never seen. Thank you very much. Nice to Take care. Bye-bye.